Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Toasted Synapse. Welcome to another video. This time we're going to talk about MMOs. And this is going to be more of a post commentary slash rant about what's out there. And about Rift, the one I'm recently playing. I'm also doing this for a project at university. It's about Bartol's chart when it comes to MUDs and MMOs. The link to the article is in the description and if you don't know about these classifications and are interested, that's a pretty good read to go on. Now, why Rift? It's a free to play MMORPG after being subscription based for some time. It's been published and developed by Tryon Worlds. These guys also produced End of Nations and Defiance. Not a bad company, if you ask me. Uh, Rift has been regarded as being a WoW-inspired game, and I wanted to get into a new game. I'm pretty familiar with WoW and how things work over there, and I wanted something new. Okay, so, first of all, it comes as no surprise that WoW has been casualized these past couple of years. It used to revolve around 30 minutes uh, discussions about how to engage in a battle before actually jumping in. I remember between raid bosses people would alt tab just to refresh their knowledge on how to beat the boss from a wiki or a youtube video. Everybody needed to know his or her role and the whole group would fail if they wouldn't, if they do something stupid. Uh, that's a big responsibility. Now, because other hundreds of games have emerged since then, people are more distracted and Blizzard had no choice but to change the mechanics of the game so that even if you don't have a 2 or 3 hours at your disposal, you can still participate in the endgame content. I understand this change. People that were super into WoW back in the day are now older with jobs and families and they can't just abandon life to raid as easily as they could before. Uh, now there is a way for them to still enjoy the game and even for new players that are used to toilet games, I mean i.e. games that you play while on the toilet, you're in, you're out and in a short amount of time. It, it's a little more than that, I'm, I'm just joking, but you get the gist of it. The people that are not okay with this, the true hardcore fans, well, they're a minority sadly no longer valued for bringing the majority of the revenue to Blizzard. So I guess they'll just have to enjoy other minor elements that are there for them. Anyway, coming back to Rift and to Bartle, I've rambled on about WoW because it was and still is a pillar of comparison for all MMOs out there. And the majority of them, well, they're kind of casual. I found Rift, and again, this is not my review, I haven't played till the end game, but I did my research and found out that Rift still has that strategizing element that was present back in the Burning Crusade or Wrath of the Lich King and previous to that. It's inspired by WoW and has its own twists to questing and dynamic content and raiding. Now from what I've researched and seen so far it's something that I would recommend to somebody that's sick of WoW and wants something new in their MMOs. That is, until EverQuest Next, Wildstar and who knows what other MMOs come out. It's like they're re reinventing the genre right now, the next couple of years are going to be crazy. Now, uh, that's why I chose Rift, close to a classic WoW experience. Now, what I can say about Bartle, well, he classified players into four main categories. Killers, Achievers, Socializers and Explorers also placing them into a set of axes uh, like the ones I'm overlaying right now. I'll also overlay the traits of said players. The axes themselves determine what the players do within a world. For example, a killer acts on other players, a socializer interacts with players, explorers interact with the world and so on. I found myself to be an achiever and this 
was back in the day when WoW didn't even have achievements. We didn't have Facebook and I was achieving stuff for my own purposes. I wanted that max level in crafting, I wanted every dungeon to be completed, and I'm even bordering the explorers in a sense. After I've achieved my goals it wouldn't have hurt to do a dungeon that was under my level, but I haven't done yet. Uh, just to know what it was like. In Rift, exploring played a bigger part for me than achieving actually because this game has over 2000 achievements that make a total of 23,810 achievement points. Uh, before diving into these I first wanted to know the game and to know the players, you know, if I were to classify them according to Bartle. A uh, thing to note here is that killers kind of scare away the socializers. There are two factions and there are two options when you choose a realm, PvE and PvP. This being said, I found out that there were a good number of people just wanting to chat and offer information about, about what crafting disciplines, for example, I should learn at the start. Even more than that, I got invited into a small guild because of some friendly interaction. There isn't much character customization in the game and the strategies can be complex in raids and both of these are things that don't really attract socializers. But the game still had them nonetheless. And that's what I found interesting. Now, now when it comes to killers, I know that there are a good number of them, but Tryon has made their version of the battlegrounds structured PvP battles very enticing for these kinds of players. They get good rewards and they can queue up from everywhere in the world. If you want to kill somebody, you don't have to go to another continent and wait in the bushes. And as for explorers and achievers, like myself, well, everybody explored at the beginning of the game, everybody wanted to know how to play and how to advance. I brought alongside me two friends, one of them the female with a name that I can't pronounce, and the pet skeleton was a killer, asking me immediately if this was a PvP server and waiting desperately to have the minimum level required to enter a battlefield, and the other was somewhere between a socializer and an explorer, the dwarf, he wanted to fit in, join us. Uh, in our adventures and see what the world had to offer. We pretty much communicated via Skype. Me being the achiever wanted everything to be perfect from square one. I actually read up on some builds, linked them on Skype, alt tabbed between battles to figure out what crafting professions I would grab and pretty much lagged behind because of this. I wanted to r do research and even though it was not needed for many battles, I wanted to keep the healer DPS tank rolls clear, even though the starting mobs die from 3 hits. I even found out how to mark targets, but that was more for having fun. In the end, it was a nice experience trying to see everything through the eyes of Bartle. That's an interesting experience I suggest you do when you climb into your next MMO or just try to figure out what your friends are. I will most likely get back into Rift and as a result I'll probably be posting more videos when I reach some interesting uh, at least mid-level stuff. I'll let you guys know my thoughts and impressions. But until next time be sure to hit the like button, share the video with your friends and subscribe if you haven't and if you enjoy the content. This has been Toasted Synapse, thank you very much for watching, I am signing out.